Hello, and today I just wanted to talk about the Windows 7 Welcome Center because there used to be one in Windows Vista that automatically started up, but I think they've really improved it in Windows 7 and got rid of all the branding that w was there for the, for their good measure and not necess ne necessarily for that of the user. So I'm just going to do a really, really quick video going over the Welcome Center. Um, you can get it by going to getting started on the thing and it just lists some of the common tasks that you commonly like to do so we've got to find out more about Windows 7 user home group to share with the computer which is something very intuitive that I'll talk about in the future we've got backup files uh, Another thing that you want to go to windows.com, which I guess is kind of advertising, but there's there's some relevant stuff there. Personalize windows, UAC controls, add a new user, transfer files, uh, uh, more advertising, and make text larger or smaller. So they've really considered the welcome center, namely not... Um, not making it uh, view as soon as you uh as soon as you start it but it's got some really cool features so thank you for watching this quick video and i hope you've enjoyed hope you subscribe if you like my videos